In this video, we'll go into greater detail of what middleware really means and provide some examples. We can define middleware as any number of functions that are invoked by the ExpressJS routing layer before your final request handler is made. So essentially we're saying that on our defined route, do something first, then pass it along to the next function. Each time we will use the request and response objects of the HTTP cycle in order to alter, end, or pass to the next whatever it is that we're handling. So in this example, before sending someone to the route that they request, we would deal with any cores or CSRF issues that may arise. We check to see if the user was authorized for that route. And if it is all good, then we would send them to where they want to go. And this is what a pseudocode example would look like for the previous image. Now, let's take a look at a more real world example. Here, I've defined a route located at backslash upload. Now I only want authorized users to be able to navigate to this route. So what I've done is I've added an auth.isAuthenticated method as a piece of middleware. So isAuthenticated is a function that does the work of checking whether or not the user is logged in. And if they are logged in, then we'll pass them along to the next piece of middleware, which is a controller.upload. And in this instance, we'll handle our uploads. This is what the isAuthenticated function looks like. Don't get too bogged down in the code, as all it's doing is checking if the user has a valid JWT token and then passing them along. Notice, though, we see a next parameter. All middleware functions carry this optional parameter, which is needed when passing along the request to the next function in the chain. The next function in the chain is controller.upload. So the controller.upload function might look something like this. And notice how it does not need the next parameter because it is the last function in the chain. So now we'll look at a few more simple examples that should really hammer home the concept of middleware. So in our server folder, remember the server folder is the one that has just a basic setup for a server. We'll create a new file called middleware-ex. So we'll open it up and copy over what's currently in our app.js file. In our other app.js folder, which contained our express scaffold, you probably remember seeing a bunch of app.uses. App.use, and then we passed in body parser and cookie parser, etc. And then towards the end, we talked about how we can create routes using the app.get method, which looks something like this. And I wanted to point out the difference between these. So the difference is when we declare app.use, this will run middleware on all requests. So every time we're navigating to this root index as defined by app.get, we're going to run body parser, cookie parser, and whatever else that we defined above using app.use. What we'll see in a moment is I'm going to create some middleware functions that we can pass in directly to this get method that will run exclusively on this particular URL request. So let's create those two middleware functions so I can show you how this actually works. Since JavaScript uses hoisting, we can really declare these functions wherever we want in our file and know that the functions will get hoisted to the top of our file. This log function will print to the console the date, the method that we use, 
whether it's a get, a put, or post method, and the URL that we navigate to. The hello function will write to our browser the words hello world. In both instances, we're passing in this next parameter to make sure that we move on to the next function in our middleware chain. So above, instead of rendering anything, I'm just going to pass in our two middleware functions and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to type into my node console node middleware dash ex. I'm going to navigate to our port and hopefully get these messages. Okay, so we see we wrote to our browser hello world, which is what I was expecting, and we printed out the date, the method, which is re this request.method, and the URL, which was the request.url. And notice how we're passing both of these middleware functions into our route. In both instances, we're using this next parameter. However, with the log function, it's optional. So I could comment this out and it would work just the same. Now I'm going to show you that what if we were to use, as I explained earlier, app.use. So if I, at the top of this, did app.use, and then if I used our middleware that we created, which was called log, I'm going to expect the console to print out the date, the method, and the URL twice. Once because it gets passed in every time regardless because we've declared app.use and again because we're specifying that we want it to be used within our get request. So we'll kill the server and restart it. And I have to refresh the page. Okay, great. And you see it gets logged two times. Okay, so with that, you should now have a pretty good understanding of how and why and when we use middleware in ExpressJS.